Alright guys, what's going on? I'm just making a quick video on uh, Mini-Me swaps because I've noticed on YouTube that there's a lot of videos of Mini-Me swap cars but there's not a lot of videos on how to or what to choose when doing a Mini-Me swap um, mainly because I think a lot of people do engine swaps which of, of course I'll probably eventually be doing myself when I want to make more power but um, in the meantime, let's talk about two options. I guess they're not true mini-me swaps. Uh, the true mini-me swap would be the, D the D15 JDM block, I think. Or no, I'm, the, it's, it's a 1.5 liter non-VTEC block, and they put a Z6 head from the D16 Z6 uh, single overhead cam VTEC. They put the head from that on the uh, D15 block when it's non-VTEC and it makes a VTEC. That's a true mini-me swap. Now... What I want to talk about is the Y7 to Y8 or the uh, Y7 to Z6 mini me swap, which is actually kind of an interesting one because that's the one I chose to do, and I've uh, you know I've learned quite a bit just from that. And the reason I'm talking about cheap, not maybe the most powerful Honda engines and and swaps for them is because a lot of people that are just getting into Hondas want to know how to make you know an extra 25 to 30 horsepower really cheap, and if you look at the cost that it it, that I paid for the head, I got the head, the Z6 head, intake manifold, complete head, distributor, everything, injectors, everything, um, for uh, $20 <laughs> from a pick and pull. The guy is amazing there. Like, you can get, you could walk in there, get two doors in perfect shape off a Honda Civic and a trunk, and he might charge you 40 bucks. Or if he's having a better day, he might charge you 30 But uh, regardless, um, I know half of you are going to be like, why are we even, you know, why are you even wasting your time just fucking... Go with a B series, an H series, a K series because it's the best tuning, tunable engine that there is, or a K24, or fucking put a massive J32 in there and cut a big hole in my hood. Well, that might eventually happen. But for right now, when you don't, you know, when you're just getting into it and you don't want to spend too much money, the D16Y7 is a really good block to work with because head gaskets are cheap, uh, all the parts are cheap, way cheaper than H series, K series. My buddy has an RSX and he's been putting money into that like crazy, and it's not cheap for parts, and 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 you can't find them in the scrapyard around where I live, so it doesn't help help in that sense. So back to the swaps. There's the Y8 or the Z6. What one's better? What's the benefits? What's the difference? You go Y8 on a 2000 Honda Civic. Uh, with a D16 Y7, if you get a Y8 head off of the same year or the same, like as long as it's OBD2, like your car, um, you can pretty much just do a direct swap. Get your head gasket kit, throw the Y8 on, get get the the ECU out of the car where that you pulled the head off of it. As long as it's in good shape, you'll be looking for a P2P if you're going with the Y8. If you're going with the Z6, you're going to want a P28, and that's uh, something we'll get into later when I talk about tuning, which is going to be kind of interesting as well. Um, but yeah, so Y8 head. Is basically it's it's more plug and play for OBD2, um, definitely 100%. So if you're trying to put a Z6 head on an OBD2 block, you're going to run into a little more difficulties. You're going to have to wire your injectors. You're going to have to uh, you're going to have to pin one wire into the distributor and just delete one wire. Um, it's really not that hard. The distributor is really easy to do. Um, and the intake manifold, it's got quite a few things on it that you've got to change. You've got to put the the throttle body from the the uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but the intake manifold on the Y7 where it goes uh, down and up instead of side to side, I guess, uh, where where it goes in, where it enters. Um, so yeah, other than other than that, if if, if you're looking for an easy swap in, in your OBD2, go go Y8. Like you know, if if you want to just get VTEC, maybe put a set of headers on, uh, go go Y8. Um, but if you do want to, if you're, if you're a little more knowledgeable and maybe you're thinking about turboing on 8 or 10 pounds of boost, like a conservative amount, and uh, just using it for like around town at the track and stuff, you know, um, then go Z6. And the reason I say that is because the Z6 head with the Z6 head gasket, it lowers the compression from the stock E16 Y7 with the non VTEC head. If you go with the Y8, you're keeping the same compression. Pretty much, you're just adding VTEC, I believe. I'm not. I know there's a difference in compression a wee bit still, but it's it's pretty much the same. Um, and also another thing to keep in mind: the Z6 head um, in port shape and flow is almost identical to the Y7, besides VTEC and camshaft profiling. Uh, and they've, it's also got it's got bigger it's got bigger ports and more flow, but the shape and everything is the same. So uh, you can actually when you're finished your Z6 swap and you do get everything hooked up, you can actually start it with the stock Y7 ECU, but uh, the problem is with that, 
is you can't use VTech obviously, but um, that's where P10, where that's where P28 comes in later on, which we'll, like I said, we'll talk about after. So those are basically the two options. Y8, if you're going all motor, you want a simple swap. You just want to go OBD2 non-VTech to OBD2 VTech on a single red cam 1.6 liter. That's your best way to go about it. Distributor will plug right in, injectors will plug right in, all that. Um, turbo goes Z6, and in the next one, I'll make a video specifically on the Z6 because.